everyone, I'm Amber Katz from BeautyBloggingJunkie.com and today we are going to talk about one of my favorite topics which is hair and specifically we're going to talk about managing long hair. So as you can see my hair is like medium to long, maybe on the longer side of medium but I'm always growing it out and I've recently made a very ferocious, you know, commitment to getting my hair long. So I want to share my best tips for managing and, you know, encouraging long hair growth. So this is what I've learned along the way of my very long journey to long hair, which I have to say has been going on since I was a very little girl. I've always wanted super long hair. So the first thing you need to know is invest in a good brush. Um, I don't think it's necessary, you know, to do the Marsha Brady brushing your hair a hundred times a night, but I would recommend right before you wash your hair, right before you get in the shower, get a brush like this, any type of boar bristle, um, plastic combo brush will do. Mason Pearson is really good. It's very expensive. I want to say these brushes cost upwards of $150, but I do have to say it's some it's something that you'll use, you know, all the time and they really work well. They're really great for distributing the oil. So what you want to do is brush through your hair um, right before you get in the shower to distribute all the oils. You know, actually the dirtier your hair is before you wash it. So in other words, the longer you go in between washes, the better for your hair and the better it is for you to distribute the oils to the ends. Because think about it, if you're not wash, if you're not brushing it regularly, especially, you know, at its dirtiest, that oil is not making it to the ends. So you want to, you know, nourish your hair from its own natural oils, which sounds disgusting, but it's actually the best thing for your hair. So that is step one. Step two is in the shower, um, you want to keep your hair healthy with a keratin shampoo. And the reason for this is you don't want to get your hair cut too often, right? So, um, you know, while your stylist may tell you that the best way to get long hair is to cut it every, you know, six weeks or whatever, I would say forego that whole thing. If you have bangs, obviously, you know, and you want to maintain them, get them trimmed very often, but go as long as you possibly can without a haircut. And it's easy to maintain, you know, a look and a, and a really nice style if you just use the right heat tools and the right products. Um, and the right brushes to, you know, style your hair into a decent looking shape while you're growing it long. And this, these keratin, um, this keratin shampoo and conditioner will really help with that because keratin will improve, you know, your hair strength and it'll give it a smoother, more, um, you know, aligned cuticle, which will make it look better. And it also really helps to help it grow because the breakage will be more minimal um, and hair tends to, you know, look shorter when it breaks. And if you have a ton of breakage, you can actually, you know, cut your hair you know, without a stylist. So definitely a good investment. This is Keratin Complex Keratin Color Care Shampoo and Conditioner. It's sulfate free and also salt free, which is great. The next thing that's important is um, to avoid split ends or at least to camouflage split ends because as, we, as I mentioned, you're not going to be getting your hair cut all that often. I recommend investing in a two, twice a week intensive repairing mask. And this one by Fakai is really great. It's Essential Shea. It's a Shea Butter Ultra Rich Mask. I like to leave it on for like 20 minutes. I actually get out of the shower, you know, with my wet hair and this mask still on my hair. I'll put on like a plastic shower cap and like go about my apartment running errands while I allow it to do its thing. And then I hop back in the shower and rinse it all out. I do that about once a week and then I'll just sort of do a super long, um, treatment with this in shower while I shave my legs, wash my body, all of that other stuff in shower. So maybe like one treatment is like five minutes long and the other treatment, the one where I actually get out of the shower is about 20 minutes long. Really good for your hair. Definitely recommend it. The next thing is you want to, again, avoid breakage at all costs. So when you get out of the shower and your hair is all clean and nice, you want to detangle it with a wide tooth comb. And this is actually a wide tooth comb and a fine tooth comb in one. It's by when by Chaz Dean. Um, it's really great for detangling, preparing your hair for product. The next thing I want to go over is um, to keep your hair out of your face when you're sleeping. This is a really great tip. I recommend getting a scrunchie. Maybe you have one from the 90s. I want to say that this is actually a vintage one and I'm not partying with it. It's fantastic for keeping my hair out of my face. And what I like to do is I actually coil my hair up into a Pebbles Flintstone bun on top of my head, secure it with this because it won't leave, you know, any dents in my hair or any, you know, indentation. And then um, when I take my hair down in the morning, it actually has like a sort of nice, it has a nice wave, but it's not too indented again. 
And also, um, keeping your hair out of your face will actually keep your skin um, in better condition because you won't risk getting the products from your hair and the oils from your um, from your hair products and everything like that onto your skin while you're sleeping. So, excellent tip. And last but not least, if you want to have long hair and maintain your long hair, I suggest investing in this supplement called Biotin. It, um, it says on the bottle that it helps maintain skin and hair health. One a day, at night, take it religiously. Of course, you do run into the problem with having roots, but you know that's the price every girl must deal with. You either have long hair or you have roots that you have to get taken care of more often. But it's a tough choice. That's the, those are the cards we're dealt. Um, I hope you enjoyed the long hair tips and let me know what you think and if you have any to add.